Hey everyone and welcome to the start of this reading vlog and this is also going to be a readathon read -a uh, reading vlog so before I start, I get started and everything I want to apologize for the background noise because there's currently a hurricane passing through um I we're on the better side of it so it's just gonna be windy and rainy but that's why the bookshelf back here is empty because they're all in bags because we were gonna be leaving and then the storm turned to the area that we were gonna be leaving so we decided to stay and just ride out here. But anyways, this weekend, it's a perfect time to do nothing but read because it is the Create Your Own Readathon that was started by Sarah by Not Just Romance Novels. And I decided I want to start getting my reading back on track. My reading has been horrible this year. The first month, maybe the first two months of this year was really, really good. And then it just went downhill. And I really, really I've been trying to jumpstart my reading because for a while, other stuff has just been my go-to for reading. So, this is the perfect kind of readathon because you can create your own rules and you don't have to kind of do other stupid weird tasks, you know. So I set kind of easy tasks for myself and kind of for, you know, anything like that. So, I picked out three, bo uh, three books and three, three rules or guidelines, what you want to call them, and wrote them all down. I have them in a book here, but you probably won't be able to see them because of my handwriting and because it's hard to hold up a hardcover notebook, but have them all here. So the first guideline or rule that I set for myself is I want to read a total of one book in pages. What I mean by that is I want to read at least 340 pages. I looked up what the average book is and it was, I got about two answers. One answer was it was about 400 pages and the other answer was it was about 240 pages. So I put it as 340 pages because I felt like that was a good amount to read. So I wanted to do that because I wanted to finish a book. And I put it as the pages because that means I can combine all my goals. And I can combine, you know, I don't have to force myself to read one book. I can read a different amount of books, you know, and kind of combine that together. I did set um, three books as my goal, not as like that I picked out to read that I can bounce back and forth between. But if I decide to read something else, as long as I get to that page number, that's kind of what I want to focus on. So, I'm starting my reading again. I always aim to read, like, a good portion. Like, on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, I try to read nothing but um, books and do nothing else but, uh, but read a book. Maybe watch a movie in the evening, but it's mostly focused on reading. And I'm actually filming this Thursday night going to Friday, so I won't actually count anything I read tomorrow on Friday for the readathon. I'll start this vlog now just in case it gets too noisy tomorrow night. So... I have that pages I listed and then I want to start or slash finish an audiobook. I put start or slash finish because I could start and finish at the same time, you know. So I wanted that as the same goal. It's two things with one goal. So if I'm in the middle of an audiobook, I can finish it. Or if I'm not going to start an audiobook, I can start it. And then the other one is to read at least two chapters from an ebook book because I just really, I got an e-reader for my birthday earlier this year and I just, I really don't like reading ebooks. I found out, so I want to try reading more so that it kind of makes up for the kid, you know, spending the money on it, but so that is the three goals. So let me show you the books I want to focus on reading. This might change, I might finish one up or I might get too far into one um, and don't feel like continuing on with it by tomorrow because it's Thursday night. I might, I'll probably be out reading all day Friday, so it might change. But the book that I want to mainly focus on for my physical book is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. My library probably had the first two books in the series and I snatched them up and I am really, really loving this book. I can see why this one is all really hyped up. I really don't actually like um, Victoria Schwab, I think her real, her real name is, or other name. Victoria Schwab um, writing in her YA books, but this is more of an adult uh, a fantasy sci-fi no novel. So I really like this one. So I think I'm going to stick to her V. E. Schwab novels and leave the Victoria Schwab novels for other people. But I'm really enjoying this one. This one is about Kel, who is an Antari, I believe he is. And he can shift between different Londons. There's like Red London, Grey London, White London, Black London, which no one can get to. It's a really interesting book and really interesting magic system. And I'm really loving it. And it's just starting to get to that point now where things are kicking off. So I have about 300 pages left of this. This is going to be my book that I focus on mainly in physical form. For my e-reader, I have my audiobook, which I just downloaded from Hoopla because I don't have Audible or anything like that. I use Hoopla for 
my audiobooks. I downloaded uh, Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I had these books and I donated them because, because I just didn't feel like I was going to ever read them in physical form. And I was just browsing before I was doing this video about this. I found this book in the audiobooks in the fantasy and sci-fi section. And I had this, uh, this book there. So I was like, it had the whole series, I mean. So I was like, I'm going to read this. And it is nine hours and 32 minutes long so this is a perfect perfect book for a windy time because i'm going to charge this up tonight so it's fully charged before the storm hits tomorrow and again i have my um headphones i can plug it in my headphones in turn this on and i can do whatever i want i can clean up i can play a game i can color i can do anything that i want to do and just put this on as background noise so i want to at least start or finish this book by jennifer Elmer trout and if you don't know what this book is about let's see if i can pull it up there we go it is about 17 year old Kate, uh, katie schwartz who moves to west virginia and i believe she just falls and ends up falling in love with her neighbor who turns out to be an alien so for my ebook, I want to read at least two chapters of where'd it go? Of Black Rain by Eli Solaris. This is a historical fiction novel. Uh, it is about the author who re-envisioned his life if he was born in the 1800s and is about a Native American tribe. And I read the first chapter and it's really, really good. And I would highly recommend it just based off of that first chapter. So I'm gonna want to at least read two or get yeah, two or more chapters from this book. Um, just so I can I finally get back into reading it because it was, whoop, it was so, so good and I really, really enjoyed the first chapter, so I want to get back into reading this. So that is my, come on, stop trying to like, I keep hitting the side of the page, but yeah, I was on chapter two, so, um, I want to start reading more of my ebooks. This is perfect to, for setting guidelines for my ebook. So yeah, that is the intro part of this. Um, I will try to update and vlog a little bit in the weekend. Um, with the storm, I don't know, but I will try to at least give small updates here and there. Hey everyone, and welcome to the first official update slash start of the Create Your Own Readathon Readathon slash my reading weekend vlog. Um, and I just got a kickstart of my weekend reading. I actually start a little bit early. I actually start at about 11 o'clock instead of 12 o'clock, but I want to read and I was playing a game and I, there's only so much you can kind of deal with in-game music sometimes. Um, so I went over to my Kindle, um, Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Uh, this one, it's going to be saved by um, the humor that Jennifer L. Armatrout has put into the book, but so far, the main cam the main male love interest is not a very good person, and the female main character is just falling over head over heels for him already, and it's going to be like one of those problematic uh, young adult, new adult romances. Um, new adult is usually, especially new adult romance, is usually very guilty of having very toxic relationships so i feel like this is going to be that one but is saved by the humor of it and the writing of it because even though i really hate the main character of the main male character i really like the female character of the main uh, the main lead and the um guy's sister so i want to keep reading it uh, or listening to it and i listened to an hour and 13 minutes of it so I'm going to try listening to it probably either more tomorrow or tonight, but I don't think I'm going to listen to it tonight because sometimes listening to audiobooks for longer than an hour gives me a headache. So I think I'm going to move on to my next reading bit and being A Darker Shade of Magic. I am going to um, pull up how much pages are in Obsidian to keep track of because I can kind of like... At the, this point, I'm about 10% of the way through the book, I think, because I, I listened to an hour, and it's an hour and, or 900, yeah, it's 9 hours and 38 minutes long, so I have just about a tenth of the book done, I guess you could say. So I'm going to look at the page counts and keep track of that um, at the end of tomorrow to see how much pages I have read. Um, this one, I'm going to be starting on page... 135 so my goal like i said before is to read 340 pages if not 400 pages over the course of this weekend because last weekend when i read um i actually didn't know it was the 
Read Your Face Off readathon, and I ended up actually reading last weekend one full book, you know, almost one full book. I had about 50 pages read beforehand, so it was about one full book, about 310 pages, and I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to try to read um, Nothing But A Darker Shade of Magic and the other books this weekend. I'm going to focus on this, so I will give you an update tomorrow, or sometime in the day tomorrow, technically today, because it's after midnight now, but I'll give you an update soon. Um, yeah, that's it. That is my reading. I did read a little bit of this last night. It's getting really good, so I think that I can fly through this pretty easily this weekend if I devote some time to it. And I'm also going to be trying to fit in at least one or two chapters of Black Rain. Um, and I know the next book I'm going to read, I'm going to do a reading vlog on, so uh, I'll probably wait to read that till next weekend because that is going to be... Um, a book that I either really love or hate, so I'm not sure. But anyways, I'll update you guys in a little bit with my next update. Hey everyone, and welcome to the end of Saturday, aka my first check-in technically, or my second check-in. Um, I... Didn't do as much reading as today. I don't know how to speak either. I don't, did not do as much reading today as I would have liked to do, but I did get a lot of reading done, if that makes any sense. I did read some more of A Darker Shade of Magic, and I ended up reading about 50 pages. I started on 135, and I'm now on 185, so I read about a total of, well, I'm on 184, so about 49 pages. This book is starting to get really good, so I'm going to read more before bed. This is my last update before I go to bed. So I figured, why not go ahead and start um, this before I go to bed and update, and I'm going to read more. I'm hoping to read at least another 50 pages by the end of before I go to bed, or before I go to sleep, I mean. Uh, I'm really enjoying this one, and I would definitely recommend this one if you like kind of like science fiction fantasy. Um, I do recommend this one over... Um, Victoria Schwab's other writings. Uh, when she writes the Schwab, I say she's a lot better than her other writing. So I'm looking forward to reading this more. And I think I'll probably jump right into the sequel, depending on how it ends, because I have uh, book two and three from the library. And then what I did do a lot of reading on today was the audiobook I am listening to, which is Obsidian by um, Jennifer L. Armantrout. So let me see if I can pull it up really quick. I am currently 4 hours 15 minutes in, um, I have 5 hours and 16 minutes left, I've been really, I've been, like, is I have a lot, I'm not going to show it because the screen and be reflecting, but I have a lot of mixed feelings about the book. One hand of it, uh, one hand of me really, really likes the book, and I find that the writing is really good. But I hate the relationship aspect of the book um, because it's just the male character is just not it's not a healthy relationship basically and it's like it's like a worse dynamic than Twilight where Twilight wasn't a really good uh, good um dynamic but um this is like worse and at the same time this book is like I wouldn't say a carbon copy of Twilight but there are like a long list of similarities. I'll try to list them off when I write a review on Goodreads. Um, but yeah, I'm. I can't say if I'm going to continue on with the series after this first book. They are, are all on Hoopla on the audiobook versions, so I may continue on if the audio narrator is the same because she does an amazing job of it. Let's see who, who is actually the narrator because. That's one thing that I do like about this book is her narration. So let me see if I can pull it up really quick. Let's see. Sometimes Hoopla like just works really fast and sometimes it takes a long time. I think it's just actually my tablet with my internet mixing together. But yeah, I'm liking it, but the same that's not Okay, let's see. Um as as well as um up, yeah, Hoopla does not like to work with the searching, if that makes any sense. The searching does not like to work. Like, you can type in one thing and it doesn't work. You can type a slightly different variation of another thing and it just pulls everything up. 
Um, this one, the first book, is narrated by Justine Erie, and spelled like that, if you can see it. And she, let's see, she, she do all of them. She does book two, three, yeah, so she does all of them the way it sounds. The just, uh, Justine Erie, and then the other one where it's like, Origin is narrated by also Rob Shapiro, so it's double narrations. Um, and double narrations for the fifth book. Oblivion is probably going to be Rob Shapiro, which that one is um, the first book in the eyes of um, Demon. I just hope the narrator is actually like saying her name, his name wrong, because who in the right mind would name someone Demon as like a main character name? But they're all by the same lace. So I might go ahead and continue on with it, depending on how good the book ends. But it's definitely a three-star book. So yeah, I am going to probably read this a little bit. I am right now just searching for some pictures because. If you don't know, I am an author. You can always find my books down in the description bar below. And the best place to find them is like, um, if you're like, I can't speak. Book covers, um, to find images like that, it's like royalty free images. Because if you are someone who's on a strict budget and needs book covers, you can get the images, put them into photo or photo. Um, it's like a photo edit and editing thing, and then you can kind of like edit the ones that people put up, you know, to make it your own. And the royalty-free images you can use, you know, without giving credit if you don't want to. I usually will try to slip that in, or if like people ask, you know, where I got the image, I always try to bookmark who the artist is, because it gives people, you know, recognition. And I usually will always, um, try to do that on somewhere. If I remember it, sometimes I do forget. I do apologize for that, but I try to do that, but I place a go-to hole and I have to flip this, this is, around. So this is kind of like what I do. It's kind of like, I just kind of like put in search bars, put scary up there, sometimes I put horror, and you just get all these different kind of images, and then you can kind of like pick which ones you out you like want. Like if I want this one, I could download it, and I just go over here, free download, and I just choose the large size and it just downloads, and then you can go in the course and edit in stuff you want and different effects and stuff like that. And I usually get it off of right there. And I'll just kind of like do that with my covers. I have done that with all my covers. And that way, you know, you're not taking our images from people. You know, you're not taking them out of the wrong images that I like this. You all have like a free use for, you know, type of thing. So yeah, that's kind of what I am doing before I go to bed and start reading. That way, I always like to have a huge folder of images. That way, when it comes time to do, because I like, when I start to write a book, I like to have a cover ready. It might not be the same cover as when the book goes to publication, but I do like to have like a reference image, you know, of what the book can be. Like when I wrote my book Teen Slasher, which the cover is right here. When I was getting ready to like start the writing process, I um, found the cover, the images, the image, and kind of put everything together. And that is right here. That is the cover. The paperback was supposed to be here, but the hurricane stopped it, so it should be here soon. I can show that off. But that is the cover, and that is kind of what I worked on before I started writing it, and it kind of like gave me motivation to keep writing it because if I fall in love with the cover, it makes give you motivation to write. I write it. So, anyways, that's enough rambly talking. I am going to go ahead and start reading. I might watch some YouTube. I'm not sure, but I'm probably will start reading soon because it's 1:22 in the morning, and. I usually will start reading. If not, I don't, I'm not going to force myself. I'm doing really good so far. So I read 50 of this. I read half of um, Lux, which I think is, let me do some looking really quick. I think that is about 150 pages, I think. I don't know how much the, just pulling up Goodreads right now. Um, I think that uh, I had the bind up before, so... I think it is about 150 pages so far that I read, which it feels weird to listen to an audiobook and say read. It's hardcover is 
paperback is 268 pages, so I figure if I reached the 50% mark, which I almost reached it, I read 138 pages of that, and then 150 pages of this, or 50 pages of this, I mean, so I read 188 pages so far. Probably won't reach the 340 by the end of tomorrow, but you never know. Hey everyone, and welcome to the end of this reading vlog slash create your own readathon reading vlog. That's a lot of reading to say in one word, so, or one sentence, so I figured I'll come on here and I will just wrap everything up. Technically, today is Monday. I want to kind of like add on this and say that I added on a day to the readathon because Sunday, which was the last day of the readathon, officially, I didn't read anything and couldn't read anything because we were getting the last remnants of Florence here and we were getting a lot of like the last bands and Sunday was filled with tornado warnings, tornado watches, huge thunderstorms I could not focus on so my mind was on the reading, my mind was on watching and looking at the radar to make sure that there was no tornadoes coming our way. So I did not get any reading on Sunday so I was like, you know what, this is a create your own readathon so I'm going to creatively add an extra day to it. So. Monday today was the end of my reading vlog or reading create your own readathon readathon. So this will probably go up Tuesday or when no, this will probably go up Wednesday. Um, but I'm gonna be doing more reading vlogs. I think from now on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday I'm gonna do reading vlogs and give you like a little wrap up on Sunday. I'll up upload these on Wednesday or later on the week, you know, type of things. But I'm gonna give you a wrap up of my weekend for the re readathon and my weekend, and I'm gonna give you a glimpse into what I'm gonna read over the next week. So for my goals for the Creator Only Growing Readathon, I ended up reading two, or finishing two of the three goals that I set for myself, and I'm really happy with that. So, the first goal I set for myself was to read one, one book's worth of pages, which is about 400 pages I put on there, and combined total I did read about 400 pages. I think I hit 400 pretty much right on the dot, so I'm happy with that. Um, to start your, start or finish a um, audiobook, I did that. I'll also talk about that in a second. The only one I did not do was the read for, like, read two chapters from your e-reader. Like I said before, I really do not get very much urges to read e-books. I do want to read the book I had set out, but at this moment I did not read it. I hope to pick it up the rest of the week, but I did not read it. So, let's talk about my wrap-up for this weekend. To create your own readathon, I ended up reading a better part of A Darker Shade of Magic. I started this readathon on 130 on page 135 and I finished it and this has about 400 pages in it so that is 265 pages that I read uh, from this book. I absolutely love this book. I would highly recommend this book if you like um, fast-paced fantasies slash sci-fi there's a little sci-fi elements into it. I don't want to say too much about this book because I did go in this book blind and I think that is the best thing to go in, into this book blind. Basically what you know of it by booktube. So I would recommend, you know, going into this book blind, knowing very little about it. Um, I am looking forward to the second book. It was amazing. I loved this one. And it, the best thing about this book is I loved the villains. There is no characters in this book that I hate it. So that is a sign of a perfect author for me. When, when an author can write the most horrible characters ever and still make you love them, that is a good sign. That's not a good author. So I give this book a five out of five stars. If I could, I'll give it ten. But I give it five because all good. A good reads goes up to. But I would highly recommend this series if you like fantasies. Um, even if you do not like Victoria Schwab's uh, YA books, give her a try under the B.E. Schwab pseudonym. She is much better, in my opinion, than in the Victoria Schwab books. So Darker Shade of Magic gets a very high praise and approval from me. So definitely try reading this if you're interested in fantasy slash sci-fi elements in fantasy. Then on my e-reader, or yeah, on my Kindle, um, I did not read anything of um, Black Rain, which is right there. I did not read any of that. Um, I want to get to it more because I absolutely loved the chapters that I read. But I just don't gravitate towards my ebook. Um, I think I might just save up and splurge and get the paperback version of it because the author of mine is uh, author of that is a friend of mine, so I don't mind getting another copy of it because. That just goes, you know, to help a friend out. So I might go ahead and purchase that. Or I might see if I can, like, PayPal him the money and he can send me, like, an author's copy because it's a little cheaper, you know, type of thing. I'm not sure. I'll have to talk to him about that. But I, for my, for my, um, for my start your audiobook, this one here, I read four hours and 27 minutes of it. And, sorry, my hair is, like, really messed up because I just got out of the shower and it's, like, poofy yet and still drying. 
I read four hours, four four and a half hours of this. Um, I don't like it, and I'm digging after it from this point on. That is Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Let I just put this away because I'm gonna be talking about it for a long time. Um, I'm digging after this book. I did read about half the book, so that's about 135 pages. So in total, I read the 400 page total. Um, this book is very problematic and toxic in a lot of ways because the love interest is a douchebag. I'm just going to say that because of the fact that it's very true. Um, he has a way to him and I know why he's like that towards the main character because he's trying to protect him and his family. But there comes a time when the main female character or male character, if it is a um, LGBT romance, um, even if it was to a female female romance, you know, there comes a time when the one participant that isn't toxic needs to just, you know, stop. You know, just needs to stop dealing with that person. And I, I couldn't put up with it anymore, and I can't go on reading it anymore because while it make it better in the future, I just don't like the main characters. Um, There's no really characters in it that I liked, and I, I the one plus about this is I really like the. Um, narrator, which the narrator, I'm gonna have to let's see if, I, if she has any other ones here on Hoopla really quick because I highly, highly recommend her because she does all voices very well. She gets you into, involved into the story, so that I really do recommend. Let's see if I can pick it up. If not, let's see. Um, can I go back to, no, I can't go back to the page. Um, uh, let's see. Jennifer. Let's see, um, her name is Justine Erie, and she has a whole bunch of books on here, let me just go ahead and favor her. Um, Justine Erie on Hoopla, this is how you spell it right here, it should be flipped over, if not, I'm sorry, but she has all of these books here that she narrated on Hoopla, so that is a lot of books. I will definitely pick up more of her, well, that is a lot of books, hold on. Holy moly, that's a lot. Um, she does such an amazing, amazing job at narrating everything. She did male voices good. She did enough distinction difference between the different female characters. So I knew when D, who is Demon, don't even get started with the name, uh, his sister, she did a different voice for her than she, as she did for Katie, which is the main character. I really loved her and I'll definitely be checking out more of her books in the future or more of the books that she narrated in the future because I really loved her narration which is for me a big thing because I do not usually like audiobooks. Usually I treat audiobooks like white noise. I loved her uh, audio uh, narration so check her out as Justine Eri. Um, she's really great so uh, you can check her out on Hoopla or on Audible probably. So that is all stuff that I read during the readathon. I also, well, I'm not gonna count it as pages, but I did start flipping through The Simpsons Family History. This is just kind of a coffee table book. I'm a big Simpsons fan, and it just kind of goes through. It just has more like quotes and stuff from the show. I will finish up going through this. Um, I just start flipping through it today, but I'll start going through this more. I know there's always, I think it was like five bucks, but I'm a big fan of The Simpsons. It kind of just starts from the beginning of the show and shows the family history, but I'm not gonna count it as like of pages or anything like that. So now let's show you what I'm going to be hopefully reading in the future or trying to attempt to read more in the future. So I am still in the middle of The Way of Kings. I am on uh, part two, which is page not 197. I don't know if I'll pick this one up or not. It just depends. I want to take this slow because I absolutely love this world. It is amazing. If you are a fan of like very high like epic fantasies, I would say if you're a fan of like the... Um, the Wheel of Time, Game of Thrones, although this is not as bloody and gory as Game of Thrones, um, but it's a little bit more easier to follow than Game of Thrones, I would say that. Um, highly recommend this. It's an amazing, amazing series, and I just want to take my time in it because I read the first part of this book. I loved it. Like, this book right here at this part is already a five. I rate books as I go. Each book starts out as a three, and it gets like deducted points, everything like that. But within this first, within the first 50 pages, I knew this book was gonna be a five-star book. But I, I might want to pick it up. I'm not sure yet, but I have it on my current like, readings. So I did finish A Darker Shade of Magic, so I want to pick up A Gathering of Shadows. 
Um, this is book two, so I'm not gonna tell you, I tell you anything about it, but I won't tell you anything about it, but I want you to continue on with the series because it was absolutely amazing. And I just, I mostly want to start this book two as well because my library never had book one and two in there in like stocks. I don't know if it's like very highly like out and it's highly like wanted people want to read it or if they just got it in like they lost book one two or something like that i'm not sure but i want to read this so i might pick this one up tonight before i go to bed i'm not 100 percent sure but i do have it on all my next to read if i don't pick that one i'm going to pick this one up which is good time cowboys by macy yates this is book number three and in the back it's book 2.5 of the gold valley series i absolutely love um macy yates i would recommend her to anyone if you have harlequin points on harlequin's website use that for a free book of hers it's amazing um she has a copper ridge series which starts with um book number one is part-time cowboy um it's an amazing series. I love it. For the first book, hold on. First part of my book in the uh, Gold Valley is Smooth Talking Cowboy. So if you want to start this one or Part Time Cowboy, if, uh, is the first book in the Copper Ridge series. But I highly recommend anything by this author. She writes like these kind of like the traditional Harlequins. She writes the um, Harlequin Presents, Harlequin Desires. So I just really love her, and I'll talk about her up to the high moons. So, like she just writes amazing books. She gives you a nice balance of heartwarming, uh, heart yeah, heartwarming, heartwarming. You don't want heartworms. Um, heartwarming stories as well as kind of spicy sides of the stories. I'm not someone who likes really like spicy spicy stories. That's why I don't really read a lot of the Desires. I do have some on my shelf. But I don't really read them or gravitate towards them a lot. But these ones here are just really, really amazing. And I know the fourth book is coming out in October. And then next year, the fifth book comes out. So I'm really happy that there's more books in this series. Um, this one follows Lindy and Wyatt Dodge. So I'm really happy to be back in the Dodge family. And I'm sad that there's only one more book after this to, that will follow the Dodge family. Luckily, it is like a Harlequin series. They're going to come back in the future. But... I really love this series, and I'm really attached to these characters, so I really love these books. I will say I recommend reading Copper Ridge, the Copper Ridge series, and the Gold Valley series in order, because you still very much follow the lives of the past characters from book one, book two, the books through all ten books, stuff like that. So I would highly recommend starting with book one and moving on through to read the series. The other book that I might pick up because I want to vlog it and talk about it and do like a reading vlog for it is Catwoman by Susan, no, Catwoman by Sarah J. Moss. Like I said, I, I think I'm going to hate this book. I really do think I'm going to hate this book. I want to be surprised. I really want to be surprised, but I know the downfall of Sarah J. Moss's writing has started because A Court of Thorns and Roses, no matter how problematic it was, amazing. A Court Wings and a, a, a Court of Mist and Fury, spectacular. A Court of Wings and Ruin, good. You know, and I think at this point now, there's so many books that she's writing that they're not as good. So, Catwoman's one of my favorites, and the dust jacket says Harley Quinn's in it, and it's two of my favorites, so that's a double whammy if it's messed up. Yeah. I'm not going to say much about that, but that is it for this reading vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm going to continue doing more reading vlogs like this on the weekend because it kind of holds me accountable for my reading. But that is it. I hope you all had an amazing weekend. Let me know what you read down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And I am so happy to be doing reading vlogs and reading more. It's so happy because I'm finally reading more and I'm coloring more. I'm reading more and I finally have a balance between it all. And then next month it's going to go out the corner when I read start, when I start writing again. So... Who knows? Hopefully I can balance everything together. But that is it for today's video. And until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day, even night, wherever in the world. And I'll see you guys in my next video.